Alright, this is a video that's going to kind of help out with section 10.2 um, when we're basically kind of going through and looking for our correlation coefficients, trying to establish whether or not we're going to do a regression analysis, and what this kind of all means using our technology. Alright, so here we go. Um, remember to put a list of data before we start this problem right here. This goes back to section um, 10.1 and we need to do a regression analysis so um, we need to put our list of data in so we can find our p-value um, and then compare our p-value so here we go um, let's start off here and start putting our list in so if you remember correctly from section 10.1 we hit stat we go to edit number one and since I already have information in my list um, what I do is I, I arrow up on top of L1 I press clear and you'll notice what it's done is it's cleared everything out of L1 and I press enter to engage that option then at that point I start typing in my list so 32 46 41 32 17 22 22 44 okay, I'm going to hit pause and let you finish putting the rest of your data in Okay, remember at this point too, um, once you have your list in, remember to double check that you have the correct number of items. They should be lined up. So here you have 44 and 521 should be lined up. Um, I'm on 9. That means I have 8 items in my list. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, to be able to do my regression analysis, to find my p-value, I go back into my stat. I arrow over to tests and I go down to letter F okay, I'm letter F, my linear regression for t-test I press enter I have my information in L1, L2, my frequency is 1 and then at this point we have to remember that um, remember that when we talk about our null hypothesis and our alternative hypothesis um, that's here so we always have that set equal to zero for some reason mine doesn't default um, my other calculator does that's interesting um, I'm gonna go ahead and, and show you how I can put Y1 right there so I have my regression line I hit vars I go over to Y vars go into function and there's y1 right there so that will put y1 in for you and, and I'll show you why that matters later and down to calculate and here we go so what we're looking at here is, is we want to compare our p-value with uh, our starting uh, significance value that we gave ourselves let me hit pause for a moment Okay. so um, what I want to do here is remember here are our rules when deciding um, what to do with our p-value if our p-value is less than excuse me or equal to uh, my initial value that I started with that I will um, excuse me I will go ahead and reject do not reject my null hypothesis if my p-value is less than that value I'm sorry greater than that value I will reject Okay, so um, let's take a look at that for a second here. So I go back to my home screen and I have a significant test value of 0 0.05. Sorry about that. So since my significant value is 0 0.05 and 0 0.05 is, I'm sorry, my p-value is less than my significant value. Let's take a look one more time. So my p-value is less than my significant value, so I will reject the null hypothesis. And, and here's where the tricky part comes in. So since I'm going to reject my null hypothesis, so since I'm going to show that there is some difference, that this alternative does work, I'm actually going to go ahead and move on. I am going to do this, the regression analysis. So because of the fact that my p-value is does meet these requirements, I'm actually going to reject what we thought was true and go on and look to see what the regression is, what the situation is. Alright, so now they ask us to go ahead and find the equation of this regression line. Um, 
What I want to remind you is, is that th they've actually given that to me right here in this form. Um, you see here my A and my B. So you'll see where it says Y equals A plus BX. Um, so basically all I do is I take the A value right here. So 11, 0, 8. It says round my answer. I want to show you right here. Round your answer, round your numbers, your coefficients, excuse me, to three decimal places. So 11.0808. 0.759 my B value which comes next is negative so I'm going to go ahead and put minus 13.077 X and so what I've done there is I've just inserted my coefficient A and my coefficient B alright so now we have my regression line so we got one last thing here, and this is why I actually wanted to go ahead and put my equation into my calculator. So essentially what they're saying right now is they're saying, okay, take this x right here and plug it in right there. And they want us to round our answer to three decimal places. All right, so, you know, we have several ways we can do this. Um, I'm going to do it by hand and see if we can compare our answers. Okay, so if we do this by hand, we just go right here on our home screen. We say 11, 0, 8, point 759 minus 13.077 times my 0 0.32 because that's my equation essentially you know now all I've done is I've just plugged in X there plugged in 0 0.32 for X I hit enter and I get that so let's test it out and see so it said three decimal places so 1104.574 and we check Okay, now, I want to show you one other place. If you'll notice up here at the top left-hand location up here, it says table in blue. So, I mean, I can hit graph. Okay, but my, my window is all funky, so I'd have to change my window around. But table is this blue button. So, if I hit second graph, it brings me to this location right here. All right, so if, if I wanted to, um, the thing is, I want my table to, I want to enter a number. I want to enter 0.32. So I've got a couple ways of doing this. One way is, as you'll notice right here, it says table set. So I can say second table set. And where it says independent variable, you can change that to ask. And what that means is it's going to ask you for the x value. Okay, so now I go back to the table, second, graph. And now it's saying, what x do you want to evaluate? And I tell them 0.32. I press enter. Now, here's what I discovered. For some reason, and I believe it's because of the space right here, you can see that it's rounding my answer to one decimal place. And the problem is the calculator is asking, I'm sorry, the computer, Connect, is asking to three decimal places. So even though 1,104.6 is a correct answer, it's not the answer that the computer was looking for. So our best bet in this case here is to do it from your home screen, like we did, where you just take your equation and you plug in that um, remember how we plugged in the point three two so we had our you know our number and then we you know we went through and we subtracted and we multiplied that by point zero three two or zero point three two okay so um, give that a try this is a video on basically you know how to get ourselves through solving these types of questions using the graphing calculator hopefully this will help you out let me know if there's any questions